So this is another video in the series for managing sales activities uh, via the dashboard. Um, so this is an example of um, adding an email, uh, email link through the Outlook client um, and then how it reflects on the dashboard. So just as a starting point, I'm gonna be doing this. This is Ryan Redmond. Uh, you can see my email count is 10. If I drill into the details for, for that 10, um, I'll just turn on the filter real quick. Um, open this up a little bit. Modified by, uh, in my case, I'm a, the current user. And if I look at the last updated date, you can see the current date I have two from the 21st, one from earlier this morning at 9.43, one from 11.44. Uh, so that's the current state. I'm gonna go ahead and close this and put this away. Then I'm gonna bring my Outlook interface up. Uh, I have that here in front of us. And I have an email here from one of my good clients, Summit Financial. And I'm going to set regarding. I can track or set regarding. Um, I'm going to click the set regarding button and the lookup window pops up. Um, from there, I'm going to type in um, SFR for Summit Financial. Uh, that's the right one. I'm going to click add. And you'll notice that the regarding pane on the bottom opens up and it now says regarding Summit Financial. The email has the little uh, dynamic CRM logo next to it, where you can see the other ones do not. And then if everything worked correctly, if I come back to Dynamics CRM and refresh everything, let me just click refresh here. So now instead of 11, hopefully I'll have one more email activity. this window up, turn the filter back on, change the modified to the current user, and that did not, the actual end, you can now see there are three emails, one from just now, it's 4.11 p.m., uh, and two, the other two that I had previously. So now I have 11 emails instead of 10. And that completes uh, linking an email from Outlook.